Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Conjugate pairs rely on the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. Bronsted-Lowry acids donate a proton or hydrogen ion and bases accept a proton. Plus sign hats are our recurring symbol for protons, and funny enough, they happen to be the only thing for sale at Bronsted Lowry's souvenirs. The vendor's shirt has a volcano erupting with some acidy gas to represent a Bronsted Lowry acid. And apparently this guy's the giving sort, as it looks like he's in the process of donating one of those plus sign hats, just like how a Bronsted Lowry acid donates a proton. And on the receiving end is this little tyke. This kid in the baseball jersey gleefully accepting the hat represents how a Bronsted Lowry base accepts a proton. I really hope this isn't one of those you wear it, you buy it scams. Bronsted Lowry acids and bases that only differ by a single proton are called a conjugate pair. See, there's this gate, as in conjugate. And next to it are two identically dressed twins, whose outfits only differ by a single plus sign hat. In an equation, conjugate pairs appear on opposite sides of the reaction. They'll look exactly the same, except the acid will have one extra hydrogen. For example, pyridine and pyridinium are a conjugate pair. The only difference between them is the extra hydrogen on pyridine. Water and hydroxide are also a conjugate pair. In this case, water acts as the acid, but depending on the specific reaction, water can also act as a base, in which case hydronium is its conjugate acid. 